So I thought I'd lighten the tone this time by talking about depression and shame and self-loathing and failure. A bunch of people asked me whether I planned on continuing this whole I'm a failed writer series after landing a book deal. And it got me thinking, I mean, of course I honestly have no idea how it'll go to publish my crazy little book with a independent publisher, so I'm sure I've got loads more opportunities to fail from here. But there's something bigger than that that drives the name of this series. So stick with me on this. Let's see if I can give an explanation. As long as I can remember, I felt like I was a failure. I was so full of shame. I always felt like I was some idiot, uh, just a schmuck in any situation. Obviously, this isn't a good way to exist in general. And I've been through a healthy number of therapists uh, to pull me out of kind of the darkest part of this crap. So I don't suggest that you too should spend time walking around dark alleys with a Walkman while blasting a Jane's Addiction song and weeping and grinding your nails into your skin until you bleed. I mean, there's definitely no need for anyone to be walking around with a cassette player these days. But having come out of that phase of self-loathing, I think I still carry with me an attitude from that place that is actually worth holding on to, and hopefully you'll find it uh, worthwhile to hear about. Maybe my word cho choice is harsh here. Maybe you don't like to walk around talking about yourself as a failure. But the idea is to frequently have that feeling of, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have so much to figure out. It's more than just thinking you don't know what the hell you're doing. You also have to have some kind of attitude of, can I figure this out? I don't know about you, but the more I learn about writing, the more I realize I don't know shit. But the trick to this way of feeling like a failure is that it doesn't stop me from trying. I don't turn it into this kind of victim-y thing. It just reminds me that I got to keep at it because I've got my work cut out for me if I'm going to strive to get that D plus instead of the F that I think I'm getting. I guess it's, it's fine to pat yourself on the back occasionally. I mean, in Enjoy a martini as you savor that you figured out how to tell your story, or that you finally realized that you should combine two characters into one, or you finally wrote that impossible to write scene, or you got yourself a cute little book deal. So have a martini, and then get your ass back to work, because you probably have more to do than ever. I had a few martinis with my dad at a bar a few years ago. He was 80 years old at the time, and we were discussing my brother who had just been through a tough breakup. My dad took a good long sip of that martini, ate the olive, and then just when I thought he was going to deliver some kind of brilliant answer to life, he said, you know, I still don't get how the fuck relationships work. If I live to 80, I hope I have the wisdom to know how much I don't get. It's not that I want to be clueless. But I want to always keep looking for the clues. Anyhow, if you haven't already, give it a try. Be a hell of a failure and see what you learn from it.